Here is something people never tell you, or if they do, you don't listen. It's not enough to have a good or great story. The screenplay also needs memorable characters that actors want to play and bring to life. I was guilty of ignoring this fundamental principle of screenwriting for the first 15 of the 20 years that I've been writing scripts. As storytellers, we get excited about ideas. And don't get me wrong, that is very important. Without that eureka moment, we would never put our heads down and write 90 to 120 pages of scenes and dialogue. What differentiates the great writers from the average working writer, however, is that the great writers build their stories around memorable characters. Characters that make actors' mouths water because they jump right off the page and make them believe that this could be an important addition to their career. Patrick Bateman from American Psycho is not a good guy, but he is a memorable character. Every Quentin Tarantino movie gives us at least one or two or maybe even ten memorable characters. Bhikkhu Matre from Satya, Munna Bhai and Circuit, Jay and Viru, or Surma Bhopali, or Gabbar Singh. These are the characters you loved so much that you became invested in watching how their stories unfolded. When was the last time you watched a show or a movie just for the plot twist? I know that the average Manoj Knight Shyamalan movie lives or dies by the twist ending, but even his films are always built around memorable characters. David Dunn, for example, from Unbreakable, which is Shyamalan's best movie according to me, every scene in that film is sold by that man's pain, which is why that ending is as heartbreaking as it is. Titanic the movie would not have become Titanic the global success if worldwide audiences had not become invested in the story of Jack and Rose. Memorable characters contribute greatly to immortal movies. So do this with the characters in your latest project. Look at the characters on the page and try and imagine what they would be like in real life. Would these characters make you feel something? Would you want to hang out with them? Would you be scared of them or would you feel safe around them? Would you fall in love with one of your characters? That's the kind of investment you need to generate in your characters. When audiences buy in to your central characters, they are a lot more forgiving. Audiences are also more adoptive when they watch a story where they feel something for the characters rather than simply watching a well-crafted story where they feel nothing at all. Bollywood producers have a habit of saying, Oh, feel nahi aya. And maybe there's something to it. If your characters inspire an emotional response, Real actors will want to play them. Depending upon the mood of the actor though, they may be interested in playing complex characters or larger than life characters or straight up pure evil characters. To a certain extent, luck has a part to play in the way your script is received by an actor when it lands on their desk. But understand this, recognized actors have got to want to play characters from your film for it to have a chance of getting made. If your actress friend says to you, I'll kill you if you give this role to someone else, you know that there's something there. If you gain a reputation as a writer who understands character, you will always have work. So tell me, what are you going to do today to add that extra dimension to your characters so that actors threaten you with bodily harm in case you offer that role to someone else? If you are new to this channel, my name is Elvis and I will be sharing tips on filmmaking and screenwriting as well as snippets from my own personal journey as a filmmaker and screenwriter. If you found this video useful, please consider hitting that like button. Please consider subscribing to our channel. And if you are already subscribed, please hit that bell notification so that you can be informed when our next video goes live. Thank you for watching and good luck with your next script.